On today's episode, we're going to computer balance a crankshaft. Stay tuned. <sighs> we always square up all the weights. Try to get them all 90 degrees to one another. All right. Man, that's close. Put a little oil on the journals. All right, let's spin it up and see what it looks like. Oh. We just got an alarm that we got no shaft rotation and we don't got no shaft rotation because it can't read it. So, hmm. so right there on the back, right there is 26 grams, almost 27 grams heavy, but on the front, man, it don't hardly need nothing on the front. It ain't but seven, seven and a half, not quite seven and a half grams, uh-oh. Yeah, buddy. So she needs, she's, she's, yeah, it's heavy where you can't take nothing out. So it wants me to drill here. So there's obviously no material, but that's, that's almost opposite the other side. So we'll bring the other side in and then see how bad this side is. But I don't know if you can see, and this is a, I mean, they all imports, but this is supposed to be the same as a scat coming from the same factory. And can you see that? So they've drilled. We never drill. We always only correct on the first and last counterweight. We never correct on the inboard counterweights because there's already not enough weight in the centers because there's no counterweights here. So this is the first one I've ever seen this way. But this one's been drilled inboard, and so we we may have to. Man, I hate to put a piece of mylar in for seven grams, but we may have to go back and fill some of these holes, or either put a piece of mylar in it. But let's drill this back end and just see what it says after we drill it. 
Then we'll zero out Z. So what we've done is the other crank with holes in it already on the inboard counterweights. It was going to need Mallory and I didn't like it anyway so we just 86 that jewel. I pulled another one off the shelf and it, it didn't have but just one hole in the front so we spun it and it was really similar to the first crank but not quite as bad. So we doctored on it a little bit and spun it and now we got the backside under half a gram and the front side is about four grams. So it's, it's now we're going to drill the front one and bring it in and that should do it. But uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't had one, one of these and I've used a bunch of these cranks. I hadn't had one do like that one. So I decay what its ailment was. Spin it again, see where we're at there. But it don't need much, we're really close. Yeah, that's real close. We're going to get it under a gram. Uh. Yep. So that's yeah, 0.6 and I think we can probably Yeah, I think we'll bump that other side just a little bit try to get in a, closer to a half a gram
Yep. So as you can see, I mean, the right side is under half a gram and the left side is almost half a gram. So that's, uh, that's better than brand new. And we only had to put one hole there and one and two little pecks on this side. So, so I'd say she's good to go. So that is the process of balancing. I mean, unless you got to do Mallory, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. The Turner mill mount balancer is just awesome. It is light years ahead of what we were doing. So I love it. <clears throat> Most stuff is well under an hour to balance if, if everything goes well. But like I say, that first crank, I don't know. I, had, I hadn't had one do like that. And I sure wasn't going to put no Mallory in something that didn't need it. But uh, we will do some Mallory and I'll show you that process. It's just time consuming. But uh, all right, there's another video. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.